For all of your real estate needs, call Mike Briggs Properties, 559-486-6758, or check us out at MikeBriggsProperties.com. CentralValleyTalk.com Welcome back to Let's Talk Business. I'm Mike Briggs. We come to you every day at this time with a, a business owner, uh, somebody who provides a service, or somebody who has an event coming up. Our next guest is, has a very exciting business, Matt Moulton. Do I say it right, Matt? You do. Matt Moulton has a, what, a talent management company? Uh, we do a booking and management. Uh, Show the picture. He has a beautiful picture, uh, uh, what do you call a graphic of his business, Lava Flow Booking and Management. It says something else under there, the one that... Uh, stop shop. One stop shop for high quality entertainment. And you do, I, I have noticed this, you are into the quality. Yes. Good performers. Yeah, that's well, that's what it's about you yeah. know it's about getting those performers who normally want to get themselves out and perform in uh, different markets and that's what we do we help them share them with the world oh you mean get beyond their local market oh yes I see a lot of great 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 musicians in Fresno that just kind of get stuck in the market yeah and uh, you know I realize that you know I've had opportunities I'm a bassist myself I had many opportunities to travel and you know, get to explore, and I know a lot of these musicians don't do that. So we're having them, giving them a chance, put them in different markets, so people can really experience what Fresno is all about. <coughs> uh, do you have some big acts coming up, or any acts we would know the name of? Uh, well, I've quite a bit. Um, well, locally, um, I know you booked Jeff Thurman in here the other yeah, day. Yeah, Jeff Thurman. Uh, very happy to have him. Uh, I got to actually see their full band for the first time. Mm -hmm. I've never seen him in a full band. The full band is amazing. I was, you know, I was very impressed with his recordings and his solo stuff, but when I saw the full band, I was definitely mm -hmm. impressed. Uh, there's very few in the area that can live up to that caliber. Um, and I don't say that lightly. I'm kind of a snob, and I'll let you know if, uh, if it's not <laughs> up to par. <laughs> And why, why is that band so tight? Is it Jeff Thurman that it's just really dedicated, or he just happened to get really good musicians? It's, it's, it's both. Jeff Thurman puts a lot of time into it. Um, what he does that most uh, artists don't do is he actually writes out charts for everybody. Mm. So he like arranges for the He whole arranges band. everything. Uh -huh. um, he has a he, sound in his head, and he wants them to play mm -hmm. it how he hears it. Yeah, he did a, he's done a lot of uh, songwriting and producing for mm. uh, some acts like Amy Grant and mm. Glenn Campbell and... And so he's, uh, he knows what he's doing. He's not mess fooling around there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very excited about having him. We've got uh, big plans for him coming up. Uh, also, we recently got uh, Ira Walker. Ira Walker is up in uh, Northern California. Uh, what's good about him is he's also like Jeff. He's been a very pro prolific songwriter, wrote a lot of um, hit songs. I think uh, he co-wrote a hit song for Eddie Money in the 80s, which is pretty cool. Um, very excited to have him. He's actually been uh, nominated for a Grammy a few mm. times, so that's pretty impressive. Yeah, I know it's nice to get a song recorded by somebody because you always get that royalty. Yeah, I, get yeah. a, I get a music royalty, and it's always so exciting when that check mm -hmm. comes in, you know, a little check. Yeah, the song that keeps on giving, right? Keeps on giving, Keeps on right. giving. Uh, and locally, uh, we have uh, Merlinda Espinoza. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, we love Merlinda. Merlinda is... She's going to go somewhere, huh? She is, she is. And she just needs a little push and a little help, and that's what we're doing. Um, also, Sydney Brazil. Oh, we, we love Sydney. Sydney here. Brazil. She's been on our shows um, a bit. She's, uh, we're getting her going. She's young, so she doesn't quite know uh, how to get herself out there. So but she's got a style, she's got a look, and style, she's got a got great a look. voice. Exactly, and she has a little sass to her. So yeah, a little sass, we like A little that. sass, so that's fun. Um, also, I help out with uh, Patrick Contreras. We mm -hmm. all know Patrick, a wonderful violin virtuoso. Uh, he's doing quite a bit um, in different markets. Um, he just released a CD yeah, or a DVD. DVD, yeah, uh, Violin on Fire. Um, mm -hmm came out really good. He had a DVD release party uh, a few weeks back mm -hmm. and that turned out really well. So a lot of good things in his future. Um, also JJ uh, Brown, mm -hmm. very, very good. Um, he's uh, releasing his single Say Little Prayer, which he uh, did uh, with a Grammy award winning producer. And uh, the uh, proceeds go to a charity. And the music video and the, the song should be done probably um, about a month, two months. So it's looking pretty good. The The track is just about done. So how will you get musicians from Fresno 
out of resin? How will you break that glass ceiling, so to speak? Well, there's a few different ways to do that. Um, I'm a musician myself. I get to travel a lot, and uh, I, I meet a lot of people. So, you know, I, I keep contacts with people. Also, I have um, different people in different markets working under my company for the same goal, is they want to get the music out, you know, so they'll help uh, book for some of the artists in Fresno out in their markets. Also, if they have, uh, you know, uh, people in their area they want to bring down to me, we take care of that also. Mm -hmm. um, and again, a lot of, you know, it's a sales business, you know, a lot of cold calls, you know, just inquiring and uh, it's more of a numbers game, you know, the more you uh, put out there, you know, you might not get a lot back, but once you do and you build that relationship, you know, it just keeps on rolling in. Um, so yeah, we're going pretty good. Um, this kind of started with uh, me thinking I can, you know, I kind of do this already, maybe I can start booking. Mm -hmm. And uh, eventually uh, the momentum of everything, the venues, the talent coming to me, and believing what I'm trying to do for them, it sped up everything. So I brought in a few people. I have uh, two people working under me in Fresno, uh, Bobby Griffiths and uh, Christine Walsh, and I'm very excited mm -hmm. about having them. They uh, have the skill set and the passion and the love to help these great acts. Um, also, we have uh, Mary Lou Onweller in Sacramento, mm -hmm. uh, Josh Holdway in Spokane, and we're working on a few others to lock down in different areas. Very good. So, uh, musicians from Fresno, at least getting the chance to be exposed outside of Fresno. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the first step to hitting it big, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, what I like to do is I like to get uh, these groups in tourist areas mm. um, because you never know. Um, I had an experience where I was playing in San Francisco and a guy on vacation from New York saw my band. And before you knew it, two weeks later, I was playing in New York. In New York, yeah. So, that's kind of the goal. The goal is to get them. You know, we want to make them just to expose them to Merced and Stockton, but to people who might take them to the next level. Yeah, we want to get them in the bigger markets. Um, also, you know, that and uh, you know, also they need to make money. So you know, we don't have a problem uh, helping out the little gigs because everything helps. Right. Right. Uh, what uh, can you think of the biggest group that ever came out of Fresno? Mofo Party Band does pretty good all worldwide, I think. Yeah, and actually, uh, so you know, I'm the new bass player for Mofo Party Are you really? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That would be a fun job. It is a fun job. Uh, pretty excited. Uh, we're going to Europe in February. We'll be in France, Belgium. And those are the, the nicest Netherlands. guys, the Clifton. They are, and they know what they do, they're doing. Um, uh, when you deal with people who've been doing it for a long time, you learn a lot from them, uh, you know, because they've done this you know, they figure it out. You they know. know how to book it, they know how to mm -hmm. get out there, and you could... Uh, mm -hmm. and, I, and I'm also, I help book them a little bit mm -hmm. also. Um, they got it pretty wrapped up themselves, but of course, uh, having me in the band doesn't help. Oh, it does help, sorry. It does help. And what kind of bass do you play? I play a Fender jazz bass, jazz four bass. string. Yeah, yeah. Um, I usually play a tricked out looking five string, but that really doesn't work for the image of the doesn't band. Doesn't blend, yeah, more of a, a yeah. Fender would be a nice fit. For yeah, them. so it's 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 fun. Um, Are four strings enough? How do you do it? Um, <laughs> I just do it. And do you ever play the stand-up bass? You know what, I just bought a stand-up bass, and uh, you know, I had fretless before, so I'm pretty good with the intonation. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a good ear, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, so you know, I can hear where it's off, and I can suggest slightly. Just slide, slide up or yeah. down a little bit. So. Yeah. Well, Matt Moulton, uh, I guess people could go to the website, which is what, Lava? I can't it's, see it's, that part. It's www.lavaflowmanagement.com. Uh, we have a Facebook, Lava Flow Booking and Management. Also, if you'd like to book any of the acts on the website, you can contact me at 559-907-8745 or at lavaflowbookingagency at yahoo.com. I got a feeling if you uh, Google lava flow, you're going to find all one word. Lava flow is two words you might find in volcanoes. But uh, no, you just, just type in lava flow booking agency. You'll see a lava lot. You'll booking. see. Uh, find the Facebook. The find Facebook, the, the website. You'll see uh, some of the artists. Um, now, would the Facebook keep people up to date on where acts are performing and stuff like uh, that? Yeah, most of the time uh, we do uh, um, posts where like the the bigger shows are you know we don't post everything um, but for the most part the more impressive stuff we do book or we do post on the web uh, on okay. Facebook Matt Moulton Lava Flow Management we appreciate you coming today and stay tuned we're gonna have more businesses right here on Let's Talk Business <laughs>